Al Mathis was the type of a man that made America great. People were drawn to him. He was the center of any room that you walked into. He was perhaps the kindest, most generous individual I've ever known. I've heard him say it many times. If God has blessed you, then you to share it. When Alger H. Meadows died in 1978, he had already given away more than $34 million and changed lives across Texas. He also created a lasting mission for his family to take care of the state that he believed was so generous to him. Texas was really his adopted home. Al Meadows was born in Vidalia, Georgia in 1899. After moving around the South, he settled in Shreveport, Louisiana, working for Standard Oil by day, studying law at night. In 1922, he married Virginia Stewart Garrison and eventually built General American Oil Company into one of the largest independent producers in the nation. He looked for oil in Spain without success, but discovered something else, Spanish painting. We would go over to the Prado and learn something about the artist and the paintings. I became very much interested in Spanish art. He collected Spanish art, and after Virginia's death in 1961, endowed the Virginia Meadows Museum at SMU. He called it a small Prado on the prairie. Spain awarded him its highest civilian honor. And in recognition of his multiple gifts to the university, SMU named its School of the Arts in honor of Al Meadows. He was seen as the one person whom everybody respected who could ask you to do something and you couldn't say no, but who would always do more than his share, twice his share. In 1948, Allen, Virginia created something that would give back to Texas forever, called the Meadows Foundation, to be administered by the family. But it's a testament of the strongest kind to his desire to have his family involved. And uh, it, I mean, it's just right there in the un, unbreakable trust document that we are to be involved. We had to build a vision about where we were going, and the way we did that was to go back and look at what Al Meadows had given to. What were the things he had been interested in? He had helped 174 different institutions. And when you broke those out, they fell equally into about five different categories of work the arts, social services, education, uh, health, and what we call civic and cultural affairs. The Foundation's first grants totaled $1,500, then grew steadily over the years. The Foundation donated the land for Presbyterian Hospital, helped found what became Communities Foundation of Texas, established the North Texas Food Bank, and transformed a blighted neighborhood in Dallas into the historic Wilson Block, now the Foundation's home. The Foundation's support of the arts at SMU grew. It granted $20 million to build the new Meadows Museum and awarded SMU on its centennial $45 million, the largest single grant in the school's history. He didn't leave his family a personal fortune. He gave his family the ability to give. So there are places where we can step in and make a big difference in the world. And that requires then constant study, constant learning, all the knowledge we can possibly acquire. The Foundation has awarded more than $1.2 billion through 8,500 grants to 3,600 organizations serving the people of Texas 
because of Al and Virginia Meadows. She would be very proud to uh, point out the scope, the dedication of the people, the quality of the people we have working here, and the reputation that the foundation has in this community and throughout the state of Texas. For all of us, looking up at the picture of Al Meadows is a reminder of what we're supposed to be about because he could have chosen to dispose of his fortune in any number of different ways. And instead he chose to return it to the people of Texas by trusting his family to do that and to do it appropriately. I've been very proud of my family. I've watched three generations now and we're going into the fourth. Take that gift that we've been given and acknowledge what a great privilege it is to make sure that we address the problems that face Texas.